There's a glass case in a hallway at the University of Oregon that looks like it should be in a museum. The case sits in the university's state-of-the-art basketball arena and holds an exhibit of women's shoes. Kelly Graves, the current women's basketball head coach, proudly points to one of them, white, with wings on the back heels, and chartreuse neon trim. It's the first shoe Nike ever made specifically for one women's basketball team, he says. They made that for us our final four year. It's a stylish looking shoe, but it's also something more, a symbol of the hard fought movement for gender equity in women's sports. The University of Oregon's U women's basketball team is good, really good. Under Coach Graves, they've won the Pac-12 title three times. In 2019, they made it to the Final Four of the NCAA Championships. But this hasn't always been the case. Fifty years ago, in 1972, the University of Oregon didn't even have a women's basketball team. That same year, Congress passed the law known as Title IX, which bans discrimination based on gender and education, including sports. Title IX opened up a world that had been dominated by men, and promised to completely change college sports. One year later, Oregon's first women's varsity basketball team was created. Still, the team did not receive equal treatment. It also took another 20 years before the University of Oregon hired its first full-time female basketball coach. When Jody Runge arrived in 1993, she seized on the promise of equity in Title IX. But what Runge found was an athletic department with clear disparities between men's and women's basketball. The men's team got better practice times, a locker room with showers, more promotions to bring in fans. The men's coach got more pay. These kinds of inequities were a reality at universities all across the country. Many women in college athletics believed schools were failing to meet their legal obligations under Title IX. Runge tried to hold the athletic department accountable. She was successful in many ways, but eventually lost not only her job, but her career. And her accomplishments in improving equity at Oregon were ignored for years. Runge paid a high price for her fight. Graves coaches in a different world than Runge and women who came before her. The women's team plays in a brand new arena. The locker rooms are spacious and comfortable. Graves has an office that overlooks the practice courts. And some of his star players, including Sabrina Ionescu, Sato Sibali, and Ruthie Hubbard have moved on to the rapidly growing WNBA. Graves also coached Sedona Prince, whose video calling out vast disparities between the men's and women's weight rooms at the 2021 NCAA basketball playoffs tipped the scales toward change.